Louis Theroux has broken his silence over the Michael Jackson sexual abuse allegations. The comments from documentary maker Louis come after the first part of a two-part documentary aired last night. Leaving Neverland aired at 9 p.m. on Channel 4 on Wednesday, with the second installment set for tonight. The controversial documentary features a wave of fresh allegations regarding the chart-topping singer. Allegations have emerged claiming Jackson sexually abused Wade Robson and James Safechuck. Jackson was tried on child molestations charges in 2004-2005 but he was acquitted on every count. He died in 2009 aged 50. Now, Lewis, who saw his own doc Lewis Thoreau, the night in questionnaire on BBC Two on Monday, has revealed his thoughts. Opening up about what he really thinks of Michael in an interview with Lad Bible, Lewis said, Jimmy Savile was never found guilty of anything in a court of law, but I think it's widely accepted, I certainly accept that he was a serial predator and a sex offender. I believe that Michael Jackson was a pedophile. He was never found guilty in a court of law, so someone would come back to me and say, well, he's innocent until proven guilty, to which I would say, well, look, do some research and I think you'll find that the evidence is compelling, leaving Neverland director Dan Reed hit back at suggestions that Jackson's accusers are financially motivated. The Jackson family have denied the allegations against the late singer, saying the film is all about the money. But Red told Good Morning Britain that Mr. Safechuck and Mr. Robson want justice, they're not fussed about the money. And he said, no one disputes the fact that he, Jackson, slept with little boys. If this was a guy down the road, your next door neighbor who was constantly spending the night with little boys, what would you think? Is it just because of Michael's talent as a performer that we allow him to get away with child rape, image, Channel 4? The singer's estate launched a lawsuit against Channel 4's co-producers, US TV network HBO, claiming that damages from the film could exceed $100 million, 77 million pounds. Mr. Safechuck was 10 years old when he met Jackson in 1986 on the set of a Pepsi advert. He alleges that the king of pop, who throughout his life denied any allegations of sexually abusing children, showered him with gifts while grooming both him and his family. Mr. Robson, an Australian, was five when he first met Jackson after winning a dance competition in Brisbane. He alleges similar abuse. In the wake of leaving Neverland, there have been reports of radio stations dropping Jackson's music from their playlists while some fans on social media have said they are boycotting the star. Leaving Neverland is due to air on Channel 4 on March 6 and March 7.